All right, we're gonna break this video down into two videos. We're gonna take the question and break it into smaller parts. I think we're decomposing the question. Oh, snap. So let's just look at the question. Harper swims after school at the pool, probably to get in shape for football season. Yeah, yeah. The chart below shows how much Harper swims each day during the week. If Harper wants to swim a total of four miles, how much more does he need to swim? In order to figure out how much more Harper needs to swim, we're gonna first need to figure out how much he already swam. We can't know how much more he needs to swim if we don't know how much he already swam. Does that make sense? In this video, we're gonna look at how much he already swam. We need to add up all the days of the week that he swam. I'm looking at the chart. It says Harper swimming chart. Oh, look, it's for him. I see on Monday, he swam seven eighths of a mile. Tuesday, three eighths of a mile. Wednesday, seven eighths of a mile. Again, Thursday, five eighths of a mile. Friday, one half of a mile. Way to be different, Friday, one half the different denominator. Get out of here. I think the best way for me to see how much all this is, how much all this comes out to, how much he swam, I'm gonna want to model this. Yeah, let's model it. So again, Monday was seven eighths, and it would look like this. We have one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. This is representing how much he swam on Monday. Tuesday was three eighths. I have three of the eights. So far, if I'm taking just Monday and Tuesday, I see that's a total of 10 eighths. We have seven eighths plus the three eighths. So seven eighths, eight eighths, nine eighths, 10 eighths. Then Wednesday, he swims another seven eighths, right? Thursday, another five eighths. And then Friday, he swims one half of a mile. Now, I don't like Friday. Wait, no, don't get me wrong. I love Friday. I don't like that one half is a different fraction. I'm sorry, a different denominator than all of the other fractions. Get with the program, Friday. The rest of them are in eights. Fortunately, we can turn that one half into eights. So let's look at it. This one half is equal to how many eights? How many eights would this one half be equal to? One half of eight would be four. Four eights would be half. So let's change this one half into four eights. Watch it, watch it, bah! One half, four eights, same thing. So now that I see all of this, I can go ahead and start combining these amounts together to see how much Harper swam. We have seven eights, eight eights, nine eights, 10 eights, so that's 10 so far, plus these seven, that's probably 17 eights, but let's go ahead and count. So 10 eights, 11 eights, 12 eights, 13 eights, 14 eights, 15 eights, 16 eights, 17 eights, I have 17 of these eights from Monday to Wednesday. Let's keep going. So 17 eights, 18 eights, 19 eights, 20 eights, 21 eights, 22 eights. I have 22 of the eights. Still need Friday. So 22 eights, 23 eights, 24 eights, 25 eights, 26 eights. Harper swam 26 eights miles, 26 eights miles in the pool. That's how much he swam. Now. Obviously, that's way more than one mile because we know eight eights would be one mile and he almost swam one mile on Monday alone. In the next video, we're going to figure out what we need to do with this fraction because again, this is not our answer. The question asks, how much more does he need to swim? Not how much did he swim already. This is just how much he swam so far.